and welcome back to With Sekhya. In our previous video, we dived into the statement of profit and loss, its components, and how we can use ratio analysis to extract valuable insights. Today, we'll be digging into another important financial statement called the statement of changes in equity. So what is the statement of changes in equity? Well, it's a financial statement that tracks the changes in a company's equity over a specific period. Equity represents the ownership interest in the company and is made up of companies' share capital, reserves, and retained earnings. You'll also find this statement in financial reports because accounting standards like IAS-1 and US GAAP require it. The Statement of Changes in Equity, or SCE, provides some valuable information. It tells us how the company's net income or loss has affected its equity, how dividends have been paid out, how new shares have been issued or repurchased, and even how changes in accounting policies have impacted equity. All this data is essential for investors, creditors, and other stakeholders to understand how a company's equity has changed over time. It helps in assessing the company's financial health and prospects. Now let's talk about why the SCE is required as part of the financial statements. First, it gives us a more complete picture of the company's financial performance. See, the SCE shows how the company's net income or loss has affected its equity which is not always visible in the income statement. Second, it is a big help to investors and creditors who want to assess the company's financial health. By seeing how the company's equity has changed over time, they can better understand its ability to pay debts and generate future profits. Third, complying with accounting standards is essential, and that is why SCE is required by IS-1 and US GAAP. But hey, it's not just about compliance. The SCE can be helpful for management too. It helps track the company's equity and make informed decisions about resource allocation. Now let's get into the nitty gritty of why the statement of changes in equity is so essential. Number one is transparency and accountability. This statement boosts transparency by showing how equity changes over time. It breaks down the various factors contributing to those changes, giving stakeholders a clear view of what's happening. Number two is comprehensive understanding. Investors and stakeholders get a comprehensive view of how the company's equity has evolved. They can see the impact of net income or loss, stock issuances or repurchases, dividend payments and other equity related transactions. This data helps assess the company's ability to generate earnings, pay dividends, and finance its operations. Number three, decision making. Both investors and management benefit from the SCE when making decisions. It shows how profits are reinvested into the business or distributed to shareholders, providing insights into the company's capital allocation and dividend policy. Number four, compliance and regulation. Following accounting standards like IFRS and GAAP is crucial, and that's why the SCE is required. It ensures that financial reporting is consistent, comparable, and meets regulatory requirements. Number five, historical record. The SCE serves as a historical record of a company's equity transactions, making it useful for trend analysis and comparing financial performance over time. Okay, let's get a bit more specific now. The statement of changes in equity for Titan Limited in financial year 2021-22 shows us how the company's equity changed during that time. It's split into two parts. Number one, changes in equity due to capital transactions. This section shows how the company's equity changed due to transactions like issuing new shares, repurchasing shares, and paying dividends. Number two, changes in equity due to other comprehensive income. This part covers items like foreign exchange gains and losses and changes in the fair value of investments, which affect the company's equity. 
For your reference, the link to the financial statements of Titan Limited, financial year 2021 and 22, is mentioned in the description below. And there you have it. The statement of changes in equity is an essential financial statement that provides a comprehensive view of a company's equity changes, helping stakeholders evaluate its financial health and stability. That's it for today. We discussed the definition of SCE or Statement of Changes in Equity, what it does, why it is essential, and its components. There is no ratio analysis from this statement, but the final figures from this statement are transferred to the equity section of the balance sheet. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Vitsikya for more informative content. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll discuss the final financial statement, which is the cash flow statement. Till then, have a great day and see you soon.